Hey, this is Chris from Armageddon, and I want you to put your horns up. First, tell us about the story behind how you all met, you know, because I can't tell you your, your, your lineup is extremely tight at the moment, so why don't you tell us about how uh, everything's started for Armageddon? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it started back in the 90s, uh, Armageddon, the name has been around. I did three albums under that name, more like a solo project, and uh, when I decided to bring it back in uh, 2012, I was living over here in the States, and uh, I mean, I moved from Sweden to to the States and uh, well it started with me I was just writing this all these riffs you know and ideas like I really want to do an aggressive metal album you know because I'd done two solo albums which were kind of a bit more uh, laid back stylistically so I f first found uh, the bass player Sarah Claudius who's uh, also a great lyricist so we 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 pretty much wrote the album together and um, we had some troubles finding a drummer. Um, we tried about three or four different drummers, didn't work out for various reasons. So we ended up just using a guy as a session guy on the album, Nick Bunzik from Pennsylvania, who's an excellent drummer. And uh, he really just helped us out in the studio. And But we knew it was just going to be a short-term thing, you know. It's really hard to find a good drummer because mm -hmm. good drummers are always in like a million bands. It's just like, it's really important in rock and metal to have a great drummer, so. But uh, yeah, so he did the album, and then I finally, uh, when I was in New York, I, I just put an ad, on, I ended up putting an ad on Craigslist, mm -hmm. looking for a metal drummer. I didn't say who I was or anything, and I just got a few responses, and I just got a response from Marton, who's this incredibly driven and talented 22-year-old uh, kid, mm -hmm. this amazing drummer who, uh, from, Hung <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> from Hungary, He's playing in this classic metal band from the 80s called Poku Gip, mm -hmm. which is like the biggest metal band in Hungary. And uh, so I knew he could do like the uh, sort of old school, more simple drumming, which I like, along with blast beats and all the technical stuff. So uh, just uh, really happy to find him. And he's an exchange student, so we're working out his artist visa at the moment. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to have another European in the band. <laughs> And uh, the, the guitar player is just a guy who, I, I gave him a lesson, Joey from Connecticut, Joey Concepcion. He's just this amazing shredder, also very young. And these guys are very like, they bring a lot of positive energy, you know. They're super excited to play and they want to go on tour and they're just like, bam, you know. Hungry. Hungry. So it's bringing a lot of energy. You just mentioned that you do, you give a lot of guitar lessons. Yeah. For everybody watching, he's in the New York area, so if you want guitar lessons, you know, just find him on the Facebook pages. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a, yeah. your official one, we'll put it on the screen. But uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about how important for you as a guitarist is to teach so that way you can teach yourself at the same time? You want to tell us about that kind of parallel? Well, yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's just a way to think about what I'm playing, you know. It's really helped me, like, formulate ideas about how I approach music, you know, and... Um, I'm actually going to shoot an instructional DVD, which is uh, is uh, going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really excited about that. It's just this kind of big project that I'm working on at the moment. I'm going to go down to to Florida to shoot it with a company called Guitar Messenger, mm -hmm. and um, so I'm I'm kind of working out the whole, the whole outline for that. And doing lessons has helped me kind of come up with ideas for that. So. But I enjoy just teaching, you know, and sharing. You know, it's just great to see someone kind of progress, you know. And for the new guitarists that come to you, and even your bandmates, what is the advice you give them? Because obviously you've been in a band, not trying to be a huge, successful band, yeah. traveled the world, you went through a lot of great things, you know, of course, yeah. hard, hardship as well. What, well. what do you usually tell them as like an instructional kind of uh, advice? Well, for bands? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like at this point, it's all about the live show I feel you know just uh, practice 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 rehearse you know every transition just get the stage moves together you know you want to have a relaxed vibe you want to play for the crowd you want to look at the crowd not look at your instrument so much you know and, and um, the transitions and when to talk between songs and th that's the kind of stuff that we're working on right now you know just like 
getting a powerful professional show together. Let's talk about Arch Enemy, you know, the, not only the legacy that you guys created, but also kind of where you decided to kind of part ways with the band. Mm -hmm. no, just it was time for a change, you know, and they felt it, I felt it, you know, it's just, you got to progress, you know, as a human, so. And what, are you, and what are your thoughts on their new vocalist and, you know, Angela kind of stepping down from the band? I wasn't that surprised, to be honest. I knew she was also getting to the end of her kind of uh, she wasn't really into the band like that anymore just doing that whole lifestyle so um, I mean the new vocalist is great you know and their new album is, sounds really good so I'm actually going to see them and uh, when they're playing here in uh, New York so it's going to be cool just go backstage say hi you know and do you miss playing with your brother sure yeah I mean I love him he's my brother you know but we every time I'm in Sweden we just bust out the guitars and we nice, end up jumming nice. for hours so <laughs> Yeah. Cool, very cool. All right, man, I want to thank you very much. Yeah, Again, Chris from Armageddon. Don't forget, you, because people might be thinking, like, oh, he retired from playing guitar. No, he's shredding right now. Excellent <laughs> band. If you get a chance to check him out, please definitely do. And it's not because you're here. Everybody after the show is telling me, hey, that band, that band, that band, who are they? Because, you know, you're always breaking new ground. And, you Thanks, know, man. so uh, good luck and much success coming up, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cool. Every time we try to carry on.